Hey guys, Rocket Rob here, and I'm back with another Pokemon Jewel fan remake news edition. Uh, we've had some updates over the last couple of weeks. No huge major announcements, but there are some big important things and some news coming on uh, one of the games that we didn't know if it was still under works, but we've got some great updates to give you. So stay tuned. Uh, we're going to cut to the intro and I'll see you back here in a sec. Okay guys, so the first thing I wanted to update you on is that with this COVID-19 uh, coronavirus thing happening, it's affected a lot of the developers. A lot of them are students still working and uh, for them, it's increased their workload and the free time that they've had to work on a lot of their projects has decreased. So a lot of us were hoping that it would mean that we'd get updates faster because a lot of people are at home. It actually has had the opposite effect. So there's been less to update on you on Saying that though, there are definitely some things to get into and we'll get to that. But I just wanted to give a quick update on just some of the projects that we haven't really heard anything from. Um, firstly, uh, Naxo, since that demo has come out, he hasn't said a word. We haven't heard from him. Hoping that we'll get some news in the next month uh, about the final version. But for now, we don't have anything more to add. Nizakoma as well, same deal since our last update. They haven't um, given us anything new. I've been checking on their, um, I've been checking on on their uh, Twitter, but I did speak to the creator, and he has joined our Discord, the Cause Discord, where all of the projects are being worked on. Basically, where you can chat to all the people that are working on all the projects. He's been pretty quiet there he hasn't really added much but i think it's safe to say that that project is still moving ahead next up show the guy that was making showdown i've totally forgotten his name right now it was that three letter uh forgot his name but i know he wants secrecy he doesn't want people knowing exactly what step he's on at every point um because he's not sure when he's, he can't commit to a timeline so he's, he's probably not going to give us too much of an update until it's ready uh, and i think it's yeah, probably best to respect uh, that wish of his. And that leaves us with Turtle, Unique, um, the guy creating Dreams as well, and Duzzer as well. So four projects, and we do have some updates for those four. So the first one is, uh, I wanted to update you on uh, Turtle, because this is the one you guys are probably uh, I guess most interested in at the moment, considering that I did in the last video say that online was coming. Uh, so let me bring this up. He's brought out a new version. Uh, here it is, Pokemon Jewel Redo. So <clears throat> I've had a look at the new version. Unfortunately, online had some setbacks. Uh, Turtle and I did play online. He set up a room. There were a lot of limitations. Like, if you move the same figure twice in a row, the game would crash. If you tried to attack someone, the game would crash. Uh, that's pretty much it. So we could walk our figures to the goal, as long as we didn't move them twice in a row, that was fine. But there's a lot of work to be done there. This is his latest update. This is just what you get downloading the file itself. Uh, you can download a bunch of add-ons that make it look a little bit nicer and change these uh, figures into like tokens and things like that and make it and, and change the background. Uh, some of the things I can notice just by clicking on things is if you click on a figure now, it flashes, which is cool. Uh, one thing that's weird, if I move my finger around, it goes all trippy. I can look up the Pokemon's moves and that's kind of interesting. But I want to show you what it looks like. Uh, and I know Turtle probably would like me to show this as well. What it actually looks like on his game when you look at it probably. So... 
Um, as you can see there, you've got like little icons instead of the GIFs. I think that looks a bit better. And you've also got a background of um, Carmonte Island as well. So it's mainly just graphical updates that he's managed to do. And no real progress with online other than what I said before. He has said that now that he's done that, he's going back to online. I feel like online must be the biggest pain for developers to do because they generally put it off. And it makes sense because it sounds like it'd be super hard. <laughs> but I really hope that uh, we can do it soon. Obviously, we've got TTS where we can play online. But all these other ones are still not there yet. So I want to give an update on some of the other games that are here as well. Uh, there's no huge major ones, but Dazza has done an update uh, on his. So Pokemon Jewel um, Redux has had an update. Let me bring that up. Okay. So... This is what it looks like at the moment. Um, I like how it shows all of the things that have happened recently down the side. Uh, I love how you see detailed explanations of everything that's going on in the game. Like great uh, explanations of all the figures and all of that. It's looking pretty good. I don't know how to get it uh, on my computer though. That's the problem. Uh, Ducks, uh, keeps saying he's going to do a guide, but I haven't seen it yet and I'm struggling to be able to follow it. Uh, the, the short instructions that he's left so far. So I can't really review this game until I've had the chance to play it, but you can go on to Reddit. I'll leave the link below to this post. Um, and you'll be able to see what he's doing. Watch this video. Next up we have uh we have unique now unique's been on a roller coaster but it's fair to say <laughs> over the last couple of weeks uh poor unique poor unique he thought that his entire game was completely ruined he thought he had to start it all from scratch and he was thinking about giving up uh this is our latest pokemon jewel game this is the one that recently has appeared in our yeah on our radar and he is moving incredibly incredibly fast with it uh look at this he's already got beautiful looking figures i i'm i'm super impressed by this like in a, in a month he's managed to make this thing look amazing right uh he's now got all the figures they all move around the board beautifully he's now going to start working on battle mechanics i just am incredibly amazed by the speed of which unique is able to complete this um He's catching up to a lot of the other guys very, very fast. Uh, and who knows? This might be the game that we end up all playing. This might be the one that we get to play first that's online, that's free, that's easy, that's automated. Um, yeah, I'm very excited. And I love the fact that he gives us updates on his YouTube channel. So, guys, he's only got 28 subscribers, which is a travesty. Uh, this guy should have 10,000 subscribers. Um Every single person that cares about Pokemon Chill, maybe there's not 10,000 of us, but go and subscribe to Unique and um, get hype because hopefully we'll get to play this soon. He's moving at a ridiculously fast rate. So well done, uh, Unique. I'm looking forward to it. Finally, uh, for those who are interested in the Pokemon Jewel Dreams game, um... Let's get over here. So I had a, I've had a conversation with this guy. Uh, let's say a conversation. He sent me one message uh, recently about an update on what's happening with this game, which I'm very excited for um, because PlayStation Dreams, I've streamed it on my um, Twitch and it's beautiful. You can create so many amazing things in there. Uh, and basically where he's at now, he's looking to have a version, a dev version, does that mean we get to play it? Uh, in late May. So next month. It looks great. It has proper mechanics. Okay, so we're going to have like this 3D amazing, beautiful thing that has... The, the, where things actually do things on their own automatically. That's exciting. Um, he hasn't got the plates. 
and he's only got half the figures so far. So he's got some work to do on that. And June to July. Okay, so June should he's gonna be in basic for two months, June to July. So he reckons he can finish it by July, I guess. So that is very exciting. I know this I, I've passed him to send some screenshots, I haven't got any replies from him. Hopefully we can get something more to show you soon. But that's gonna pretty much do it for all the updates on all of the um Pokemon Jewel fan games for now. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what you're most excited for once again, and I'll continue to keep you updated, continue to bring you Pokemon Jewel content. I've got some videos coming out, which I've been inspired by Rico with his rating all of the figures. Uh, I'm going to start doing Pokemon Jewel comparisons. So we're going to grab one amazing figure and one other amazing figure that were kind of rivals, I guess, or had some kind of connection back in the Pokemon Jewel days. And we're going to compare the two and then discuss which one would be is the better figure so that's what i'm going to be doing i'll also be streaming some tts and reviewing some old school matches as well keeping the pokemon jewel content coming guys but looking forward to being able to play more pokemon jewel with you guys in more ways than ever before uh, but that's going to do it for now don't forget to like this video subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell as well and i'll catch you in the next video this is rocket rob blasting off again